the five main species of rhinoceros all have declining populations, with their numbers meaning that they are critically endangered. Indeed, the Javan rhino is one of the rarest large mammals on Earth. Poaching and habitat loss are the two main reasons for their reducing numbers, and today we will look at where they remain and what is being done in an attempt to stop them from disappearing altogether. The word rhinoceros is derived through Latin from the ancient Greek pivo caras, where the composition of the word comprises of pivo or nose relating to the rhino element and caras meaning horn, so basically a horn on the nose. All rhinos are herbivores, grazing on varied vegetation at various heights depending on species and location, and they once roamed many places throughout Europe, Asia and Africa, and were known to early Europeans who depicted them in cave paintings. At the beginning of the 20th century, 500,000 rhinos roamed Africa and Asia. By 1970, rhino numbers had dropped to 70,000, and today a mere 27,000 rhinos remain in the wild. We will start with the Sumatran rhino, whose current numbers only total between 34 and 47 in the world. They are only found in Sumatra and Borneo, inside dense highland and tropical forests, weighing between 500 and 960 kilograms, and amazingly descend from the woolly rhinos of the Ice Age. The Javan rhino has the most varied weight range of between 900 kilograms and 2.3 tons and unsurprisingly hail from Java in Indonesia. Frequenting both tropical and subtropical rainforest and boasting the smallest horn of the five main species, their numbers at this moment in time are reported as a mere 76 animals. The greater one-horned rhino being semi-aquatic tend to live in swamps, forests and riverside in parts of India and Nepal. Their weight will range from 1.8 to 2.5 tonnes, and they have the only scientific name we will mention today, as it really sums them up. Rhinoceros unicornis. They have a current population of just over 4,000 animals. The first of two African species is the black rhino, being the smaller of the two. Weighing between 900 kilograms and 1,350, they inhabit tropical and subtropical grasslands, savannas and grasslands in the following countries. Their numbers currently extend to 6,195. White rhino numbers, whilst better at 15,942, do not reflect the danger these magnificent creatures still face. Also known as square-lipped rhinos, they will weigh between 1.8 and 2.5 tonnes, and probably have the most voracious appetite of all rhino species, giving them the nickname of mowing machines. They live in pretty much the same locations as black rhinos, specifically... It is Africa in particular where the plight of the rhino is most evident given the huge value that their horns still seem to attract on the black market. Evidence that this can be seen, where the amazing Save the Rhino organisation have gathered some all-important and indeed devastating statistics pertaining to the last 10 years alone. If you get to see rhinos in the wild, they are truly incredible creatures, and it is just as well that there are some fantastic organisations doing whatever they can to protect them. And these efforts are now having to become super serious. There has always been a huge need to raise funds for conservation, and the recent years of the COVID-19 pandemic reduced most of the ecotourism services on which many protected areas relied on for income. Saving rhinos means daily anti-poaching and wildlife monitoring patrols, maintaining fences and engaging with local people to promote conservation and human, wildlife, lifestyle harmony. For those of us living far away from the natural habitat areas, 
Saving rhinos means raising awareness of the threats like poaching and habitat loss, demand for illegal wildlife products, climate change and global biodiversity loss. In 2018, China reversed a 25-year ban on the trade and use of rhino horns to allow for scientific and medical use. While doctors certified by authorities can prescribe rhino horns for medical purposes, illegally obtained carvings and other collectibles are subject to confiscation. China's historic and opinionated hunger to desire rhino horn appears to remain, as the ambiguity of the potential loophole in this law looks to have made things worse. Niche marketplaces currently generate a black market capable of offering more than $120,000 per kilogram. A dreadful situation. A rhino's horn is surely iconic, and its humane removal to save it from poachers is certainly controversial. You might think by simply removing the horn that the problem is solved, meaning rhinos would be worthless to poachers. However, the issue is a lot more complex. Around the year 1990, humane dehorning trials were undertaken in several locations. This process was successful in Namibia, with poachers leaving those rhinos in peace. But when the process was undertaken in Zimbabwe, poachers were still seen to kill the rhinos, whether the horn had been removed or not. The sad fact is that the stub of horn that is left after removal appears to still be an issue. If the horn is cut too close to the germinal layer, this would damage the horn base and lead to deformed horn regrowth. Current dehorning is estimated to remove about 90% of horn mass, so during any dehorning exercise, a stub of horn will remain. Therefore, although poaching is made less profitable, the sad reality is that poachers will still kill for a horn stub due to its high value relative to where they live. And so, the fight goes on to educate, provide means of alternative incomes to those who poach these beautiful creatures, and of course remove the desire for the use of rhino horn on the world stage. <laughs>